Today we're going to give you the process for converting your US spec BMW G450 Cross to a European headlight switch. I've always found it easier to do it by video. Uh, the current way the switch is set up is that you've got low beam and high beam here, but there's also a provision for a switch in the off position which turns your headlights all the way off. Right now, just below this plate, there is a small little roll pin that prevents this switch from going all the way back. You can go to high beam, low beam, but you can't get it back because there's a teeny roll pin under here and we'll show you how to access that. There's three tools that you need. Uh, a nice sharp pick tool helps, a small flat blade screwdriver and a set of pliers. And we're going to uh, go at this. I've got the switch kind of set up just to make it easier on the video and not make it as long. I'm sure this is going to be a little bit longer than normal. But uh, what we've got is just below here we're going to take our flat blade screwdriver and we're going to access just below this crease here and we're going to be able to apply a twisting pressure to add uh, that switch to be able to pop up. So then what we're going to do, I'm going to put the camera onto a tripod and make it steady here. And just inside, if you look just inside from this angle, there's two little white clips with a space down the middle of it. So on each one of these things, what you're going to do is you're going to pull this pin in here, pull this pin in here, while applying uh, a twisting pressure with your small flat blade screwdriver and as you pull these in, once I pull the switch off you'll kind of see what I'm getting at. Uh, as you pull it off I've got it uh, already done so I can just kind of pull this up um, as the switch comes up. You'll see that there's a little space here. Now you can kind of see what you're working with. You pull this one in, pull this one in as you're applying a twisting pressure to your screwdriver to lift it up. There's little notches right here that hold the switch in place and now as you can see you've got access to high beam low beam and the full off position and what's preventing that is this teeny little roll pin on this, uh, I'll try to get a correct shadow right here. As you can see this roll pin we're just going to take a set of pliers pull that roll pin out, there's no roll pin on there and then just take this switch pop it back on and now you've got a three position high beam, low beam and off that's it. It couldn't be much easier.